What if I told you there was a plan to drain the Mediterranean Sea, turn it into farmland, and create a supercontinent? This was Atlantropa, a massive engineering vision from the 1920s that aimed to reshape Europe, Africa, and the Mediterranean forever. The idea? Build an enormous dam across the Strait of Gibraltar. This dam wouldn't just generate hydroelectric power. It would lower the Mediterranean's water level by up to 200 meters. Imagine vast new land emerging where water once dominated, coastlines redrawn, new territories created, and entire regions transformed. But that wasn't all. Another colossal dam was proposed for the Dardanelles, reshaping the Aegean Sea. A third would regulate the flow of the Nile, transforming northern Africa into a fertile agricultural zone. The vision was to unite Europe and Africa through shared resources and prosperity, creating a supercontinent called Eurafrica. The project's scale was staggering. It promised millions of square kilometers of new land, new connections between continents, and unlimited energy from hydroelectric power. Cities like Venice and Barcelona would be surrounded by newly exposed land. Rivers like the Rhone and Nile would take on entirely new roles in this transformed landscape. But Atlantropa wasn't without its challenges. Lowering the Mediterranean would have disrupted ecosystems, displaced millions, and risked desertification in southern Europe. Political tensions and the immense financial and environmental costs ultimately made the project impossible. Atlantropa remained a bold vision of its time, a grand idea that never left the drawing board.